Hello everybody, this is Jason Hires, and uh, I've been doing two flavors of reviews. I have the uh, new album reviews, which I've done three of those, and then I have the essential albums, which I've done, I think, uh, like 16 of those. Uh, this one is a little bit different. Uh, this is a newer album, but it was released in 2018, so it's not a new, new album. And it hasn't been around quite enough to really establish itself yet as a classic album. Or an essential album but I want to talk about it anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and call this a recent album review uh, the band is called snail mail and the album's called lush and this is the debut album for snail mail let me show you the album cover so besides this snail mail does have one EP that it released and it was called habit now, the main singer and guitar player for Snail Mail is Lindsay Jordan, and basically she is Snail Mail. And uh, she's very young. As a matter of fact, when she released the Habit EP, she was still in high school. And she actually got a record deal before she graduated high school. Now she's out of high school. She's like 19 or 20. And she's touring, and uh, this is their first album that they're supporting. Now, as this band's been going along, they've been slowly but surely building up some traction in critical circles. Uh, she got named as one of the better albums of the year by Rolling Stone, for instance, which is nothing to sneeze at. Um, and this album is pretty good. I really like it. It's an album that uh, did take a little while to grow on me. It didn't quite fully click with me the first couple of listens, but the more I listened to it, the more it kind of sunk in. Now, the thing about Lindsay Jordan in this album is it reminds me a lot of Sonic Youth. Specifically, it reminds me of one of my personal favorite Sonic Youth albums called Rather Ripped. So you have somebody that sings uh, in a spectrum of uh, not that dissimilar from like a Kim Gordon, and also she plays guitars, and her guitar style sounds very similar to Thurston Moore and uh, and for some reason the other guy's name is drawn a complete blank but anyway the two main guitar players were Sonic Youth and uh, you know I can't remember everything off the top of my head and as I get older it gets worse and worse I can tell you that much and I'm an old guy but anyway, I love this album. It's a really good album. It uh, has a lot of youthful exuberance. You know, it is a lot of songs about, you know, kind of like teenage heartbreak and things like that, you know, which if she kept doing this for like the next 10 years would get pretty tiring. But given that she is a teenager, it's okay. And considering the level of sophistication of the writing that she already has at uh, this age, I got a feeling that she'll be moving on to more advanced topics anyway. Um, I mean, so we have somebody that's a, a, a really solid guitar player, is a good lyricist. Uh, she's not exactly a great vocalist, but she's a decent vocalist. Uh, but the thing I like is she doesn't sing with the typical female pop voice, which I am just kind of bored of. You know, she sings in her own voice and she has her own distinct style of singing, which is, I like a lot. Now, she obviously is influenced by like people like Liz Fair. She signed with Matador Records, which is a great record label. Yola Tango and a lot of other really good bands are on Matador Records. So you really definitely got to check her out. Now, songs I really like on this album is uh, the main uh, single for this and the one that you can easily find on YouTube is called Pristine. And the other single for this and the other video that you can find pretty easily is called Heat Wave. And both of these songs are really good songs and they're definitely worth checking out. Good production. You know, well-crafted songs, you know, good lyrics, the whole nine yards. Really well done. Uh, some other songs I like on this album is I like uh, I like Stick. I like Let's Find It Out. I like um, Full Control. About the only real criticism that I have of the album is, is that uh, it kind of occupies too much of the same territory songwriting-wise and sound-wise. But anybody that's ever heard somebody's first record album, that tends to be something that just happens when you make your first record. 
normally when you record stuff you kind of do the same thing very similar and then as you kind of go along you start to branch out and experiment more so it's a really common trait the fact that she's only 19 or 20 and she's already this good is very encouraging and I feel like we have the potential of having a long career for this artist as being somebody that's definitely worth checking out um, I don't think she, she definitely hasn't hit her breakout point yet she still needs to develop more before she gets to that point but I definitely like what I see there so and if she's successful I get to point out to everybody hey I saw her first and if she doesn't well everybody forgets anyway <laughs> alright so I think that's gonna wrap it up for today I really appreciate you guys watching these videos thanks a whole lot and have a great day bye and the other guitar player for Sonic Youth is Thurston Moore and, um, and Lee Ronaldo, I just remembered. All right, thanks again. Bye.